Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of my new Let's Play series. I'm so so excited to start this new Let's Play. It's going to be so much fun. Let's just dive straight into this. So basically I'm doing a Let's Play in Minecraft Super Flat Survival once more, except I'm going to be playing on the preset of the Waterworld Survival. So right here we're going to go into create a new world. We're going to call it um, 1.7.10 and once more I'm playing in 1.7.10 because I think that this is a great Minecraft version and we'll discuss later why exactly it's 1.7.10 and not 1.10 like the newer version uh, now it's going to be survival now we go into more options uh, generate structures on allow cheats off we are not going to be cheating we are definitely not going to be cheating bonus chest on although it's probably not going to spawn and we'll talk about this later and now we go to super flat but it's not going to be a vanilla super flat because we're going to go into presets and we're going to choose the water world preset and the water world preset is basically uh 90 blocks of water by height five blocks of stand five blocks of dirt five blocks of stone and bottom one block of bedrock i'm very very excited for this let's play and the reason for that is because in this let's play we're going to be able to spawn in strongholds so that we might be even able to go to the net uh to the end and to the nether so that's going to be really really epic so by spawning strongholds we're going to be able to go in into the end and kill the ender dragon and be able to officially um end minecraft that's pretty much like the end boss in minecraft although i do think that the wither is harder but um that's a different conversation so to add a stronghold to this preset we just have to type in stronghold right here so basically as you can see here this is the code that generates the world so two seven means that um two blocks of seven basically this these are just the block ids and the block amounts then right here at the end these are the um different attributes of the world so as we can see village which means that we are going to have villages spawning and obviously we cannot survive in a super flat world without villages pretty much so of course we do need villages the biome is one meaning that the biome will be basically flat planes or, or something like that i forgot exactly how it's called but it's basically the the default biome that's why it's biome one and we just added the stronghold area right here the stronghold we just added that in just so we can have fun and be able to go to the end and actually another thing that i think i'm going to add is dungeon just for fun so we can explore dungeons and let's just add in the mine shaft for fun as well so now that we got our preset going i did edit the preset because originally the preset did not contain strongholds, dun dungeons, and mineshafts, but just because I think it makes Minecraft much more fun, I'm going to add this. And one of the best parts is that considering that we rarely, I rarely go to the end in Let's Plays, and I actually don't think I have ever gone to the end in any Let's Play, so this might even be the first Let's Play that we go to the end, so I'm not, I'm not sure about that, uh, but uh, I hopefully I'll continue this Let's Play as as much as I can, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited to create this world. Let's dive straight in, and another thing is that the bonus chest, for some reason, does not spawn when you're underwater, and that's really weird. It doesn't even spawn the items dropped, so unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. And right here, if you notice, I do not have a seed in the seed world generator, so we are creating a completely random seed, so we are not cheating at all. This is completely vanilla. Now, I think that in Minecraft... Um, in my opinion, at least I'm the type of Minecraft gamer that does not like cheating because I think that cheating kind of defeats the purpose of Minecraft because the purpose of Minecraft, at least for me, is to um, get the sense of fulfillment for completing difficult and challenging tasks. So we're not going to put a seed in because I think that um, putting in a seed, uh, say for example, most YouTubers I have seen when they make deep um ocean let's plays or um water world uh, water world let's plays they usually put inside a, a seed so that they spawn right next to a village but in today's episode i will have a very hardcore minecraft session now although this will be just random now although the difficulty for this will not be uh hardcore it just will be i will i will usually play on hard and this let's play is no exception i will be playing on regular hard mode as well meaning that i will be able to respond however 
this doesn't mean that this let's play will be easy because we were basically spawned on the bottom of a 90 block ocean that goes on forever and ever so now let's create the world and dive straight into here and now let's look around us so unfortunately um i'm sorry about it but uh, it might be a bit dark for you i can't see much myself either so right here as you can see we spawned 90 blocks underwater and this is completely super flat um the ground here is flat and um the water up there is flat pretty much everything is flat unless you count the villages now some villages do spawn here underwater uh, now as you can see i'm suffocating now and let me just show you something real quick so, as you can see, when I'm going to respawn, now I'm going to try to swim up, and uh, that's pretty much what everybody does in Minecraft. If you spawn underwater, uh, you just swim up. But this Let's Play is so hardcore that you are unable to swim 90 blocks up, and no matter how much health you have... Oh, well, actually, no, it, it does matter, but... um. No matter how hard you try to swim up, you're not going to be able to swim up. And as you can see, you can barely see the surface up there, and I already died. Now, I've been thinking about getting a special seed that spawns me right next to a village where I can get air to breathe. Uh, I've thought of um, cheating in torches or air breathing potions, but in my opinion, that defeats the difficulty of Minecraft and playing Water World Super Flat Survival. So I devised a method how we're going to be able to get out of the bottom of the ocean and be able to go on top. Um, so basically, we're going to mine down over here. You can see the sand right here. I'm sorry if it's too dark. This The majority of this episode will be probably shrouded in such darkness, and I apologize for that. Um, I wish I had more light as well, because obviously it would be much easier to mine if I had some torches or something, or even some glowstone, even better. Uh, but since we don't have access to any of those resources, we're probably not going to be able to do that, so right now I'm going to die, and basically I'm going to respawn. Now let's see, where do we mine that hole? And another thing is that, unfortunately, I should have remembered where we mined that out. So, unfortunately, I think we're going to need to mine another hole. So, now, I'm sorry. I have not done a very good job of explaining, basically, my plan for this Let's Play. And the thing is, uh, let me brief you on this. I'm going to have to make a different hole or just wait until I die and respawn. So, there you go. So, basically my goals for this let's play are the first goal is to get out onto the top of the ocean onto the top of the water and actually technically i shouldn't really call this an ocean because technically as you can see if i go into f3 we can see that the biome is plains like i said when i was launching the let's play the biome will be plains and this is the biome one and the reason why i'm playing in 1.7.10 Oh, there you go, it's right here. And also, the reason why I'm playing 1.7.10 and not a newer version like 1.8 is because in 1.8, they added another biome called Deep Ocean. And the biome of Deep Ocean kind of um, ruins the whole feel and the whole playability of um, Deep Ocean... I mean, Water World Super Flat Survival, because when... Oh, we died, but let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so, basically... In 1.7.10, this is the last version of Minecraft in which villages can still spawn in uh, underwater. So basically, it kind of sounds crazy, but since... Oh, there you go. So as you can see, I covered the top of the water, and now the water can't get in. So I'm going to go just one block down further, and then I'm just going to mine all of this out. Uh, now, what was I saying? So, yep. Basically... 1.7.10 Minecraft is the last version of Minecraft in which villages can spawn underwater. And as you can see, we, since like I showed you previously, we are in the Plains Biome, which is Biome ID number 1. And in the Plains Biome, it, this is one of the biomes in which villages can naturally spawn. However, of course, obviously, this definitely does not look like a plains biome. However, in the Minecraft code, this is technically a plains biome, meaning that this biome is fair game for um, villages to be spawned. 
And where does Minecraft spawn villages? On the floor, on the land, on the closest land. And where is the closest land? The bottom of the ocean. And from now on, I'm going to call this an ocean, but technically, in Minecraft terms, it's not an ocean, because it doesn't see it as an ocean. If it was an ocean, it would be a different biome, but technically, um, in the Minecraft code, it does not see it like an ocean, but... Uh, just for the sake, just for the lack of a better word, I'm going to call this huge body of water an ocean, and it really does look like an ocean, because it's 90 uh, blocks down, it's 90 meters down, which is actually not that deep if we're talking about real life, but this is Minecraft, it's 90 meters deep, and, um, uh, because... Each Minecraft block equals to a meter in real life. So it's basically 90 blocks down. It has a flat bed. It has a flat ground. On top is the um, sand, which is kind of like realistic in real life. Because if you think about it in real life, most of the time when you have, like say you go to the beach or something, on the bottom of the um, ocean, the, most of the time there's sand. Um, and then underneath you, what I'm mining right now obviously is dirt. So basically, what happens is that since the Minecraft code doesn't see this biome as, like, this being ocean, it spawns villages down here. And where does it spawn the villages? It spawns the villages on the ground. So it basically, it literally spawns villages underwater. And it creates, basically, air blocks that go up to the top um, of the villages and like each house has its own air block on top it's a bit difficult to describe in words but basically it's a bit difficult to describe in words and i'm going to talk about this later and you're going to see this in the next episode hopefully if we're lucky and we are able to get to the surface and are able to find a village successfully but anyway basically the minecraft code will spawn villages under water and it will spawn them like somewhere around where i am right now it's going to spawn them on the very deepest part of the water. It's going to stop spawn them on top of the sand, and it's going to generate all the houses. It's going to generate, basically, blacksmiths. It's going to generate gravel paths. It's going to pretty much generate everything that um, general villages have in Minecraft, and it's going to spawn water blocks on top of them. And this allows us to do very interesting things in this Let's Play. As we know very, very well, you basically cannot survive very well in super flat worlds without villages, because practically, uh, when playing these super flat challenges, we pretty much rely on villages all the time. So basically, Minecraft with Minecraft 1.8 coming out, and I'm in 1.7.10, so this is... Uh, right before the release of Minecraft 1.8. Um, when Minecraft 1.8 was released, they added ocean monuments and all that good stuff, and they actually added another biome to Minecraft. One of the biomes that they added to Minecraft was called uh, Deep Ocean Biome. The Deep Ocean Biome. The ocean and the deep ocean. And from now on, in Minecraft 1.8, this preset is no longer a plains biome, it spawns it as a deep ocean biome, and the result of the Minecraft code spawning the world as a deep ocean biome, it no longer spawns villages under water. And this prevents us from being able to play the Let's Play, and this prevents us from being able to survive and thrive in this unforgiving ocean environment. Although, of course, this is technically not an ocean, this is a plain, like I said many, many times. Um, so that is the reason why I'm not playing in one Minecraft 1.8, and also another reason is simply I like older versions of Minecraft better than newer versions. Just simply, I think that they're simply better than the older versions, of, uh, the, the newer versions of Minecraft. I think that older versions of Minecraft are better, are better than newer because um, 1.7.10 it's just more similar to the Minecraft version that I started playing from. And also 1.7.10 has the best mods in Minecraft. I mean, of course, there are definitely mods for 1.8 and 1.9 uh, and all that good stuff, but I think that a very large majority of mods exist for 1.7.10, and it's a very stable release of Minecraft with a few glitches, so I think it's just a great version of Minecraft. So, anyway... So, basically, my idea is the reason why I mined out this huge pit, um was because, not because I need to use this as a room, this is solely for the fact that I need dirt, and I need, actually, I just need regular blocks, well, I can't, well, except sand or gravel, because sand falls, I need just regular blocks in Minecraft, oh, there you go, and the reason for that is because I'm going to build up, 
what I'm basically going to do is I'm basically going to build up a large tube that goes upwards. The whole idea is to preserve air pockets inside the tube so that we'll be able to breathe while we're going up. And now we are going to die many times, so right now we're probably going to die as well. I'm going to die near the pillar so that I'm going to be able to collect all of our materials soon. And now we're going to start building up the pillar. Um, I have tried this before, and I've tried, and it actually works. I've got out... Oh, there we go. Well, here's another issue is that um, the more dirt I collect, the... the the less times I have to go up and down, but there's another negative effect is that all my resources get scattered around kind of poorly, and now we're already suffocating, which kind of sucks. But anyway, so the whole idea is that we're going to be building this really, really huge tube that goes up. So now let's just go here. Um, there we go. Now we spawn right next to it. Now let's just collect some of the dirt. Oh my god, the dirt got spurned way too far. But anyway, so basically we're just going to collect all that. Now let's hope... Oh, there's just... Oh, this is the hole that we originally made. And like I said, this is another large issue that I'm not able to... Oh, there's a village there. Oh my god. Can you see that? Do you see those houses there in the outline before we die? Oh, there we go. Now, if you can see that, you can see there's houses and there's basically air blocks on top there. Um, that go up there. This is basically the whole idea of survival in this unforgiving environment is basically having to go around village and village and try to go and get materials through that. Now let's try to possibly die here. Maybe we're going. Our oh, there we go. All of our um, all of our stuff got basically dropped down into this one chute here. So. The way that we're going to clear this out of water is we're going to be basically placing blocks, and the blocks are going to be replacing the air blocks. I mean, the water blocks and replacing them with air blocks. So right here, let's just go down here. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to mine down this enough. And right here, as you can see, once again, now that we filled these water blocks with dirt blocks, it took up the water. And now there's air in here, meaning that we can breathe. And you can see we are already regenerating. So let's wait until we regenerate and until we can't regenerate any longer. Now, if you saw that, there was a village really, really far out there. That village is basically, the like, like I was talking about, 1.7.10 Minecraft is the last mine. Minecraft in, in which villages, underwater villages can spawn in Minecraft water world, in the super flat water world preset. And this is very beneficial, like I said before, because this is the only way for us to gain resources in super flat, because I, we cannot gain resources any other way, because how are we supposed to gain resources any other way, considering that um, Minecraft super flat doesn't have any resources. Well, I mean... Some versions, oh, there we go, we died again. Some versions of Minecraft Super Flat do have, some presets of Minecraft Super Flat do have different materials. Like, for example, the Super Flat um, preset of, um, the Super Flat preset of Tunneler's Dream, it actually has naturally spawned trees in it. And actually, the Minecraft Tunnel's Dream Super Flat preset, it actually does not have villages in it. And this is one of the few Super Flat presets in Minecraft in which we can survive without having to have villages and villagers. And in Minecraft Tunnel's Dream, there's also naturally spawning ore. So not all Minecraft Super Flat presets, which are like vanilla super flat presets not all of them are unforgiving like this one however some and most super flat presets do require having to oh I'm, i think i'm just gonna die and then i'm gonna swim up and get all my stuff um like i said so not all super flat presets in minecraft are um all void of resources but this is one of those presets and including the vanilla super flat preset so basically the super flat that existed since like 1.1 or something like that and i'm talking about the super flat that the original super flat that basically has just uh th one block of let's just regenerate for a bit before we go outside so yeah i think that's gonna be a good idea so like i said the van the regular vanilla super flat which is the like the very very original super flat world which contains one block of grass on top and two blocks of dirt on the bottom and then a bedrock block on the very very bottom 
that Minecraft War that Minecraft Superflat preset does not have any resources either. Like in that ep le like in that uh, Superflat preset, you have to go around villages collecting resources or build a mob grinder or basically gain resources somehow other. Uh, because there's no no naturally tree spawn, there's no ve natural vegetation spawning, and in general, there's really not much to do. And if you want to see my episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival, that's how my series is called, and in Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival, I play the original Vanilla Super Flat survival i play the original super flat preset and i attempt to survive off uh villages and in that super flat uh survival i'm quite close to acquiring a villager breeder i have already constructed a villager transport system so um i i could say that things are going quite well for me in that uh super flat series so uh yeah that's that and wow it takes so long to mine like Oh, now as you can see, I died even though I covered the top part of it with dirt. And the reason is because uh, I, it still had water inside there and I had to fill it in with dirt blocks instead of just simply like uh, going there and just barricading myself in there. So now let's hope that we're going to be able to collect all of our blocks here. Oh, there we go. So now what we have to do is, unfortunately, we have to cover this whole thing up and we have to make sure that... Now, probably all of the dirt... Oh, there you go. Probably most of our dirt probably, like, went all over the place. So that's uh, a minus of that. So basically, I'm going to keep on going up and up until I'm able to... Um... Until I'm able to... Be able to go through this chute up there. So now let's see. Let's build it up as much as we can before you die and I think that we might have to go down to collect more dirt I'm not sure I think that there is still some dirt laying around I did have some stacks on here I'm not really sure if I can find it I might be able to collect it but I can't really see it very very well and I'm already dying right now so what's the point of going up and as you can see it's becoming harder and harder to reach the top of that before suffocating so another um, thing that I do to aid that is I basically go on the inside of the tube and what I basically do to do that is I basically mine these two blocks in here and I get to the very very center of the tube and then I'm able to travel in um, it's it's very slow although I'm able to get up there without wasting any air because there's already air inside it so basically let's see well, that's weird yeah we're gonna die right now so let's just go and collect these two blocks oh there we go I finally found my dirt oh yeah 54 dirt that's that's nice that's that's really great so like I said um, if you do oh there we go hmm now this doesn't seem to be working like I supposed that it was working for some reason there is still water in this chamber so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically fill it all up with blocks once more and then hopefully I'm going to be able to eradicate all the water inside there now let's see can we find some more dirt and also another thing that I noticed is that when it's nighttime it's actually much darker in here when it's daytime it can be much brighter than here than some other time so yeah that's another thing. So now let me just mine that through right over here. Oh, I was ne I was barely able to mine one block before dying. But you know, this is basically hardcore Minecraft survival. This is this is the real deal, guys. I mean, obviously, it's not really hardcore survival. Like, it's not the type of hardcore survival. Like, it's not. I'm not playing hardcore Minecraft like minecraft uh code states because uh, basically minecraft hardcore when you die you cannot respawn i'm not i'm definitely not playing in that version of minecraft because obviously i my world would be deleted by now and as you know um minecraft hardcore is basically minecraft in which um if you die the whole world will be deleted and you won't be able to play it again so it's kind of like realistic uh, but in that sense i think that this is really not um, hardcore Minecraft because obviously I can respawn here but in terms of difficulty I think this is even harder than vanilla hardcore survival so oh wow how did that happen we somehow spawned on top of here that's weird 
if only I had some more dirt with me so I could build it up, but unfortunately I'm probably going to die again while trying to get down there, so. Yeah, that's the thing. So like I said, in terms of the difficulty of playing Minecraft, I think starting out this Let's Play is even more difficult than Hardcore Survival, because in vanilla Hardcore Survival, at least you have some resources to start with, at least you have all trees already, at least you have air, at least you don't spawn in the middle of nowhere, at least you don't spawn, like, in... Oh, can we get down there? Oh, yes! We got down there without losing a single heart. So what I think we should do... Oh, wow, wait, where did we pick that dirt up? Because I was just going down here to mine more. Well, I think I'm just going to mine a bit more so I can get 64 just because I like having a full stack of dirt. So, yeah, let's just mine some more of that until we get 64. And like I said, basically what I believe is that even though this is not like the, um, the book definition of Hardcore Minecraft is in the sense that this world won't be deleted if I die. This I can respawn in this world. However, in terms of difficulty, I think this is a very hardcore let's play of Minecraft because obviously we are playing for about, what, like 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes now and we still haven't even gotten on top of the surface. I mean, we're probably going to only get a renewable source of wood by like episode... Um... We're probably only going to be able to get a renewable source of wood by, like, episode 3 or something. And in my opinion, this Let's Play that I'm playing is more hardcore than a vanilla hardcore Minecraft version. And I'm talking about a vanilla version, basically, like, when you create a vanilla world, like, not a super flat world, like, a completely vanilla world. Um, no seed, like, nothing like that, just a standard world, uh, and set the difficulty, like, set the game mode to hardcore in that sense. I think that what I'm playing right now is even harder than that because, oh, there we go, there's, hmm, oh, there we go, yep, yeah, I just saw water there, so, as you can see, there's, the water f basically flows in here, so now, what I'm doing is I'm basically mining the blocks on top there, and then I'm putting blocks on my feet. So basically right now, I'm able to breathe air. It's not underwater here, and I evacu evacuated the tube of water, so basically I don't have to deal with water. Now we're going to hit water pretty soon, and right now you can see that we are currently at Y37. Uh, now, the, I calculated, um, I went into Creative World, and I went and saw where the top of the water is, like what Y coordinate that is. And where the top of the water is, is Y105. And basically, so to get out of the water, we have to reach Y105 before suffocating or dying and running out of air. And, oh, so yeah, the next block, the water's going to flush in, so we're going to have to do that real fast before it can flush in. Now, I can barely see anything, and I'm sorry if this Let's Play's dark. This Let's Play's quite dark for me as well. Now, let's just combine all that, just in case. This Let's Play's quite dark for me as well. I can't see anything as well, but when we go on top here, I, I mean, I can't see something. So, now let's try to place all these blocks right here. It's very difficult to do this, and I have to place as many blocks as I can, as fast as I can, and unfortunately, I'm not able to place blocks as fast as I really wanted to, and now we're probably most likely going to die, and actually, I saw that the dirt got down there, so thankfully, we died without having to have um, my dirt blocks fly out somewhere and have me search and find for them. But anyway, so right here you can see the surfaces, the water is up there. It's much better to see this when the sun comes up. And we already moved through a day and night cycle in Minecraft. And you know what this means? The fact that... Oh, I think that might have slipped out there. So the fact that we can see that already one day passed in Minecraft. There was the day already passed. There's the nighttime passed. And now it's about midday. So this is taking us several days in Minecraft just to get out of this ocean. Which is really, really crazy, guys. I have never done something like this in Minecraft. This is completely new for me. This was a very difficult challenge for me. And actually, frankly, this still is a challenge for me. Oh, I just got sand there. Yeah, now apparently the dirt flow... Oh, there we go, the dirt's right here. So now, as you can see, I'm not really able to... Uh, oh, wait, there's only 18 dirt. Oh, I think I just used up most of the dirt that I had. Well, that's sweet. I remember having 64 dirt. I don't remember using that much dirt, but whatever. 
but I don't think it's going to be bad. Oh, we can see some squid here. The squid are so lucky because they could just breathe in water. But then again, if you um, void them of water, like, or if you take them out of water or something like that happens, they're just going to suffocate. So they basically suffocate in air instead of suffocating in water. So, But in this environment, the squids are clearly superior to my uh, human abilities in Minecraft because I'm not able to... Uh, survive that long in this underwater environment but of course in the future when i might get potions and all that stuff like that it's going to be very easy to breathe in the water and i think that i'm going to do a lot of fishing in this um, map just because i mean in this survival just because considering how this is a water world i could do a lot of fishing well i mean i could do a lot of fishing in all minecraft versions i could do a lot of fishing in say skyblock for all i know because you know skyblock has an infinite amount of water too doesn't mean that this let's play has a lot of water that i'm going to do necessarily a lot of fishing but i think that um i'm going to have to do a lot of fishing because i'm going to need puffer fish and so that i can make potions of water breathing yeah, this is not working out, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna- Oh, we got more dirt. Yeah. Oh, there's only nine dirt. So yeah, let, let's just mine all of this out. So like I said, we're gonna have to- We're gonna have to say- Oh, we're probably gonna die now. Or, oh, we're probably gonna be able to break this block before we die. Anyway, so like, like I was saying, we're probably gonna have to do a lot of fishing in this Minecraft world. Oh, let's just die in this niche right here so that we can- uh, be able to get all of our items there. Yeah, so like I was saying, so basically I cover this all up, and there we go, there's no more water there. So let's just make our way up there. So like, I'm gonna continue my conversation talking about how we're gonna do a lot of fishing in this world. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna need a lot of puffer fish in this world. And the reason is because I'm gonna possibly, one of the most important potions in this world will be the water breathing potion. Much like the one of the most important potions in uh, this, the, the vanilla super flat, which has um, the three, which has a block of grass and two blocks of dirt underneath. And then a bedrock. I mean, I'm talking about like that vanilla, vanilla super flat survival uh, that I have a series on, which is called Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And if you haven't watched that, I strongly recommend that you do. It's a very interesting world. I have gotten very, very far in that world. I'm very, very far, and I have a really, really huge base, a huge facility. And one thing that I noticed is that in that world, um, a very important potion is potion of swiftness and potion of speed. And that's why I need witches in that let's play, basically for sugar, because that I don't have sugar cane there. The only way to get sugar there is to kill witches. And I do still have quite a bit of it, but it's ending very quickly. And the most important potion in that let's play... Oh, there's water there. Oh, let's just cover that, uh, just to make sure. So in my opinion, the most important potion in this world is probably something like... The most important, and as you can see, I covered a bit more of that just to make sure that because I'm, th I think that there's some like water sources that haven't been covered yet. Uh, so let's just keep on going up. Yeah, and I put some sand there just because that's what I had on hand to fill the gap. Uh, so basically, I think that um, in this let's play, the most important potion that could pos that we could possibly have is potion of water breathing, and the reason for that is because obviously. Uh, this is a water world, and when we're inside a water world, the most important... Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, we're yeah, we're probably definitely not going to be able to get out. So, like I said, basically, we're yeah, we're probably going to suffocate before we reach the surface. Wait, or can we? I don't know. We're going to be really lucky if we're going to reach the surface. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to reach the surface. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We got so close, yeah, but it wasn't planned, I wasn't planning to go up there at that time. So like I said, the most important, uh, I'm probably just going to die right now just because I didn't start mining this. And another really difficult thing with this is that it's very difficult to mine out all these blocks is because it takes much longer to mine underwater than it normally would, so it's another uh, pain that I have to take such a long time to mine and even in the process... And even still then, in the process, it, it's still, like, I still don't have access to air, so I'm just gonna have to... It takes, like, five times longer for everything to do. As you can see, it takes me just to mine four blocks of dirt. I need to die four times. 
and right now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to die purposefully right now because I want to have full health because when I reach the surface I want to have full air and full health so that I can increase my chances of being able to get to the surface in time so now let's just get up there once more so basically what I think is that um water breathing potion is the most important potion in this world because there's so much water here and obviously i'll be going into the water all the time and of course as soon as i'm going to be able to get a cobblestone generator in function and i'm going to get a large tree farm going i'm going to have basically lots of um basically like pipes and tunnels going down underwater with like air in it and with like really and i'm talking about really civilized tubes i'm not talking about like this tube which is made out of dirt and a very rudimentary one i'm talking about um like complex systems such as uh, maybe even uh, glass tubes so that when you're descending down the staircase when you're descending down the ladder You're gonna be able to look outside at the squids and look at the beautiful sunrise From 90 blocks below the water, which is completely beautiful. I think and it's you don't see that in every minecraft um, In every minecraft world only in the deepest of oceans and and especially in this world you see it a lot and maybe even in the future, I might make um, I might make a pigment farm in the Nether, like uh, a gold farm. I might make um, an iron farm using iron golems, like I'm trying to do in my vanilla super flat survival uh, series. And then what I'm going to have access to in the future is I might have access to pretty serious equipment such as uh, rails and minecarts and in that case I might even have rail systems that go under water and I'm gonna have basically um I'm going to have like a system that's going to be all um, encased in glass and it's gonna be very very beautiful I'm going to have um, rails going around different villages and then when they go down uh, and then when they go like down underwater, it's going to have glass walls so that you can see all the water around you. But for the time being, we don't have much of these resources, so we're just probably going to have to stick with the with the good old um, dirt pipeline with the dirt little pipe thing. So now let's see. We are at Y55. I really do not think that this is enough to reach the surface, but we are going to try anyway. Now one thing that I noticed is that. Uh, when I was doing this thing, when I was just doing some feasibility testing, when I was off camera, I just decided to test whether it is actually possible to do this. I had an idea to basically encase myself in this um, tube with like with air inside, and I'm going to have all the water. Uh, dissipate from the tube by placing blocks in and then breaking the blocks and then that way it, it takes up the water source leaving air inside and even though there's no air uh, underwater here uh, basically in Minecraft the physics works so that if there's a water source or something and then you place a block this block displaces the water and it takes up the water source so now let's see when I was doing field testing in another world of mine I was only able to reach the surface when I was at about Y64 or so, or Y60. Now we are at Y55. Now, nevertheless, I'm still going to try to get up there. Now, I don't think that I'm going to make it, but just let's see. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we'll get lucky. However, it does not look like that because it's already Y80 and we're running out of air. Now, uh, we have to get to Y105 to be able to get on top. Actually, we might make it. We might as well make... Oh my god. Wow. That is truly something. We have finally, after so long, reached the very, very surface of the water world we were able to go up 90 blocks of water without suffocating this is practically impossible in minecraft we were able to mine out a very large cavern even though we did not have any tools we did not have any potions we did not have any torches we did not have any light we did not have basically anything all we had is a covering of sand and a few blocks uh, and a layer of dirt and a layer of stone underneath and some bedrock that's all we had and we use those resources to get up here i'm so so happy 
This is this is simply amazing, guys, because it's amazing how in Minecraft, I uh, one of the reasons that why I love Minecraft so much is because I think that Minecraft is basically a thing where you try to find uh, ways to overcome challenges. In Minecraft, you build shelters to stay away from the mobs. In Minecraft, you build large farms to collect more resources. In Minecraft, you find ways how to outsmart the system. You find ways how to how to thrive. You find ways how to how to gather resources efficiently. You find ways how to how to survive. You find ways how to how to have fun basically in Minecraft. And and that I think is one of the true meanings of Minecraft. And of course, peop many people see Minecraft w what they want to see and I think that Minecraft is different for everybody. Everybody sees Minecraft as differently. And this is good because Minecraft is a sandbox game. It's it's supposed to have a different meaning for everybody. But like I said in the beginning of the episode or somewhere or lo somewhere there I believe that my, the whole purpose of Minecraft, in my opinion, uh, or how I perceive it to be, is Minecraft is basically, um, Minecraft is basically, um, a game where you try to complete challenges, and when you complete these challenges, you feel fulfillment and you feel good about yourself because you worked hard to achieve something. And Minecraft also basically is a thinking game. You have to think about how to solve a challenge or how to solve a problem. And you can solve a problem almost infinite amount of ways because there's many resources and many different ways in Minecraft and you could do pretty much what you want. So yeah, that's my little uh that's my little um idea about the meaning of Minecraft and everything. So yeah, that's my that's what I think about Minecraft. Yep. So, uh, I think this episode has been long enough. In the next episode, we're going to go and explore that village down there. Like I told you before, this is how it looks like. There are um, villager houses down there, and it spawns it with air blocks up here, so we're going to be able to access it. And as you can see, for like somewhere right here, we're going to be able to travel up and down to the bottom and from the bottom to the surface without having to build this crazy huge canal system. And one thing that I thought is I might have take token like taken off and then tried to walk or tried to mine underground all the way to here. But that would have been difficult and that probably wouldn't have been fun. And that 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 might have even that might have even like taken a longer time than what we did by constructing a little pipe system there because think about it look at I mean we would have to mine this far underground without light or anything it's gonna be much less fun than building that pipe so like I said before there are many ways to solve a problem in Minecraft we could have mined underground e even even the hardest of problems that you think that can't be solved in and even the hardest of issues that you think can only be solved using one method in Minecraft we could have solved the issue of being spawned underwater using two ways we could have built this um, w water evacuated pipeline thingy uh, we could have used cheats or we could have mined underground and we could have mined to the nearest village here so yeah thank you for watching this is Minecraft, and i hope you enjoyed this episode it wasn't very fun it was definitely fun for me so i i hope it was fun for you as well we we did not do much although i do think that i accomplished a very a very large goal in this world so yep yeah, thank you for watching this is Minecraft, and uh see you all in the next video